the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I was putting it right there. It says, Cain and Abel, cultural war continues in 2023. And what I'm saying is, and just right up front, Cain killed Abel. And we, we, we asked last week, why? Remember that? We said, why did he kill the man, right? Uh, and I think it's important because I think the same, and we, you know, that's the conclusion we came up with last week. That's the same thing that's happening even today with the wars that continue to go between believers, between believers within the church or the ministry, and in the world. This, 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 this fight, this warfare, the first two people born from Adam and Eve, first two people. We have a conflict. We had, we, we, we had, and, and then the question is, what did, and you remember we said that, I said last week and you said, it, what did Abel do? How did Abel get drawn into this conflict that led to his death? And is that not the same conflict that goes on today between our fellow man? Are we so, busy killing ourselves we got war we got what's going on in ukraine what's going on with with what happened with tyree with those and you know the thing that threw some of the people off with the one we talked about last week and, and tyree the young man that was killed beat to death by the police do you know the 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 society was like wait a minute i see black or African American, or, or or I see people from the same ethnic group involved with the killing of a person that's African American. I don't worry there's African Americans killing, and and they, I mean Marcella Green, she said it. Well, you know it wasn't race because the people who beat them up were black. You know, it, it threw some of them off too, because like, I don't know, I don't know why they did it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and they don't stand they even they do that to themselves too. You know, people that are ethnic groups of, of the call themselves Caucasians will have done that to themselves too. Just beat people up. That's some type of brutality. So the point I'm saying is that this cultural war, I guess you put a prophecy there, Cain and Abel's cultural war, man fighting against man continues. And it started from the beginning. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> these, these wars, World War I, World War II, these wars that has been going on with man fighting, God, I mean, it got to the point one time that God said that just, just started all over. Right, it, it it was just it was just so bad. God said, "Ooh, the the heart of man is, is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked." And we see it, we see it, and and I see and I look at it when I look at that's why sometimes brother eyes when I look at the uh, and I'll come back to this in a minute. It doesn't come up when I when I looked at the the civil rights movement when I look at the people integrate into schools and the, the the anger you know when he was trying to integrate school and those people they had to protest when that when that when the uh, black child was being escorted into the schools and the the the, the anger that you saw and you ever wonder about like what, what what's driving that anger? What, what what makes it so bitter that you have to just just lose your just lose it for a kid just going to school? 
what anger did it take for those people to pull that man out of his, out of the car a few weeks ago, I guess, or a month ago? What 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 what? You know, when they looked at the video, and the, you know the thing about it is, I think I think you probably tracked it a little bit. The 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 report that they gave, their police report that they turned in. One guy was even, I think one guy was adamant when he did his affidavit, even after the uh, this stuff was brought to light, he he said he did everything that was right. <laughs> you, 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 to me, that means the person even blinded to what they're doing. Well, uh -uh. when you're looking to excuse your actions when when your fruit is labeled as corrupt mm -hmm. and you're trying to say that's not the fruit that you're bearing yeah yeah you, know, you, you come up with with different different types of excuses to to cover up did do you think do you think that the you remember that one scripture that said is that the God of this world has blinded the uh, blinded the eyes. eyes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is it is possible that from his perspective, it's possible from all those police people that have done bad things no. to people that they they don't they see they looking from a different lens? No. No. They're not looking from a different lens. Mm. They're looking from the same lens we're looking at. Okay. But what they're trying to do is to skew our vision. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, and, and it always goes back to, you know, the garden. So if you use a little bit of truth, yeah, Ooh. mix it with a whole bunch of garbage, you won't see the truth you'll see the garbage. Oh, man, you're right, because Adam and Eve, both of them, he said, well, it, Lord, it's a, it's, a, it's a woman you gave me. You, you, you're you you're saying, I, I did know, I did know. I, you're right? You remember that? That's a good point. Yeah. Right I, I did know that I shouldn't have eaten from that tree. I, I did know that. I, there was no question about that. I I did know that. You You told me. But it's that woman you gave me. Mention their actions. Ooh. Completely ignore the question. Mm. And their answer is a statement. Wow. I mean, yes, I do. My fact. It just doesn't answer the question. Where are you? Wow. Ooh, that was the question, wasn't it? Where are you? Well, he did. He also had that question. He said, "Did did you did you not eat? Yeah. From, from the tree, did I?" That I gave you? Did you not eat? Did you? Did you I, eat? Did he say I ate? He he. <laughs> let's see. Let, let's see. That's it. Ooh. Hey y'all, I think we got some here. That's a good point. But, but it's it's it goes to the fact that a lot of times your your answer isn't it doesn't answer the question it doesn't answer the question it right it, it, it's it's skewed <laughs> the information so that you don't get Ooh. the answer let's see it is, if you ask him did you were you trained <laughs> to kick this person oh and then they would probably say i was trained i did everything i was supposed to do they won't Ooh. Hey, no, I was not trained to kick this person. Wow. Everything I did was according to how I was trained. No. Policy. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Do you Woo. know, um, they won't answer that way. Let's see. They, they, they won't be specific about their answer. They'll try and hide it. Woo. And then you're talking, really talking about general nature, too, right? Because it's not, you're talking about the Tyree thing, the police officer thing, but we're talking about in general man. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and they just did it from the beginning. Uh, let's see here. This is Genesis chapter three, people. Just you know, so like I said, brother, I said everybody don't read the Bible, so we got we we have to make sure we we think we know 
everybody to know where we're coming from. So <laughs> now we do hope that most people read the first five books in the Bible at least, or the first five chapters of Genesis. But this is chapter three. It, that Brother Asa was talking, we were talking about the fact is how people <laughs> see things from a different perspective. So let's, let's, let's well, he, 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 he answered, but it was <laughs> how he answered. <laughs> so, but, but it, it, it's the excuse. It's the point. Yeah, it, it, there, there was, there was the, there was a, a, a means to escape the responsibility. Exactly. That that's so, a point. It was the woman. No, not that <laughs> I ate, but the woman first, and then <laughs> I did eat. Hey, that's the point, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna deflect the action, or I'm gonna give a justification for my action. Remember, like I say, he resisted arrest. He grabbed for my gut. Do you remember that? I mean, we're talking about Tyree people, the the, the one yeah. that was killed. The the thing they were actually the video was recording them trying to make up their reasoning for a to stop. He was driving. Their their reason he was driving recklessly. Yet the camera on the car does not show that. Then he read, he 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 read for my gun. He he uh, resisted arrest. Uh, he wouldn't obey my commands. I, I told him to get down. Even though I was pulling, even though y'all may not see, I don't want y'all to, to recognize what I was doing. I, I had one arm pulling him one way and I had another arm pulling him another way. He could not get on the ground. And, but as far as I'm concerned is, I gave him a commandment to get on the ground, you know? So the same thing here applies with how man has been doing it. Look, brother, from the beginning. That's the whole point. So we talked about this is this is Genesis chapter three, and and were you? I guess you started with nine when you the, 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 uh, or or eight, and then read it to us. What what we got? Okay. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden mm -hmm. in the cool of the day. Well, Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God. Of well, the of the garden. Uh -huh. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? Yes, sir. And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and uh -huh. I was afraid. Oh. I was naked, Ooh. and I hid myself. There's an excuse as we get it, right? They, they, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> well, he, he, he didn't. <laughs> well. He said, Where he, are you? He, he said, I hid myself. But the bottom line is, all this peace about you're afraid. Yeah. You've been afraid before. Why you hid yourself? You hid. You, he didn't tell you why he hid himself. Yeah. He could have. Could ask. He didn't ask you a question. What you said. Yeah. He, he he's trying to come up with excuses. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The reason I hid myself is because I disobeyed you. You know he could have came clean himself. Right. Yeah. Well, he, he in a way he did. What do you mean? It was, just, <laughs> it was in a roundabout way because yes. I mean he already told on himself as soon as he said. You know, I heard the voice. Yes, and sir. I was afraid when he said I was afraid. He had already told on himself. Dad did but something. It wasn't like God didn't know him. I know it, right? But like you said, though, I said I'm still saying that that's still going that same comparison to what you're talking about with the. I'm just using it. The, this all those excuses, reports yeah. that they turn in. Yeah. They they know they did something wrong, but they're gonna come up with these pieces as if they these answers it was it makes a difference you know in this case he came up with some answers that god god answered based on based on his answers like you're saying this is what god said right mm -hmm. he said who first of all he did he made a good point there brother asking who told you he was naked yeah i mean i, mean, I know you I, you talked about huh? go ahead these these questions of god were not for God's sake. No, no, the best. Yeah. Exactly. So that they can, they could get an understanding. Yeah. And did you? Know. you hey, listen to that. That's a, a spiritual component you just said that I want to throw something back at it, Brother Addison. That question. Did you think? Did he? He asked a question. What? Then you said that's a God is for them, right? That was for their sake. For their sake, right? Yeah. What was based on that question? 
who told you that I uh, were naked? What what do you we think God had an answer already on? What answer do you think? I think he got God had already known where they were because he went to where they were. Got that part. No problem. And then the question was who, who told you? There could have been uh any animal that was possessed of the of the devil to to do his bidding but god knew who it was who was it he knew that it was was lucifer that told him well satan that told him that they you said that that's that's not in the scripture is it he didn't know that he, he did not right from the exactly he, he got that from the from knowledge the of good. And, yes and, and the tree is yes what, the what knowledge yeah their mind yes to you see my, exactly so, in other words that's a good point though isn't it that there's some there's there's a voice there's a communication a reasoning in us that, well, that there, there's an awareness of mm -hmm. information Mm, that knowledge, is, yep, knowledge. Is, is hidden yeah obviously because the bible says when we receive our purchased possession the the rest of it that we will know everything interesting that think about that in so, other words so because there's knowledge that we have that mm. we don't have access to Woo. that tree did not have mm. all the fullness Mm. of knowledge that that tree had knowledge of good and evil of that physical realm i believe yes yeah in the physical realm but I, I guess the point what do you think that the you think that the uh this yeah, everybody we're just talking i think it's a good point here i'm trying to bring out too is that what was you know how we're talking about a computer right you input yeah all right. So what we saw, people, when he when he entered the tree, because he told them, as Satan told him, he said, "And uh, for God knows, verse five, for God knows that in the day you eat thereof, when you, then your eyes will be open, and you shall be as God, small g, which is what we are, knowing good and evil." So, so there's a transmission of information. And don't forget the fact that, you know, when you eat fruits, when you eat substance, there are some things transmitted to that body, right? You know, from, from, from nutrition, nutrient substance and, and, and healing, you know, from the fruits, some, uh -huh. some trees can bring healing and so forth. There is a transmission and it's not at the, at the, uh, at the raw level, but at the what do you call it, the molecular, uh, the molecular, yeah, level, right? The DNA level, uh, things are transmitted. When they ate that fruit, there was a transmission of knowledge, good and evil, passed on to man, uh -huh. and and God knew that they weren't ready for it, and they did it anyway, and that's why they, that's why we are where we are. So we're constantly being transmitted knowledge of good and evil all the time so if if we were to truly break down that <laughs> it's hard Adam and eve yeah now, now let's 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 really look at this so did satan lie okay well that's a good point did he lie he he lied about the fact of verse four the servant said to the woman, this is where he lied on. At least, oh, from a cardinal level, he did not lie. From a spiritual level, he lied. Even from a spiritual level, because... It was a disconnect. Who, who is Adam and Eve, did they die, or are they in heaven? Well, you're talking about, the, the, remember they did, did sacrifices, did right? Physically. Right. But spiritually, they did not. Right. But spiritually, it was disconnected, right? That's what they, that's what 
uh, Genesis 6 3 says, right? I would not always strive with man, but. But, yeah, but, he, but the thing is, I'm still looking at the fact that they were. They, they weren't spiritually connected, but what they were doing was covering their sins the way God told them to. Right, you're talking about blood sacrifices, right? Yeah. So right. that they, that they yeah. can have a communion with God. Right. And and the so thing now, is that I'm not sure how their what their spiritual state was when they actually left their physical body. I, that I do not know. Right. But I think you're trying to say is that they did the devil lie by they just surely die. And and God made a provision through sacrifice uh at that time, during that time, yeah. to pay to have something else pay for their death. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Something had to die for them. It's all I'm saying. Yeah. When he said you should surely die, you didn't have to do that before. You know, you didn't have to kill an animal before. But now you had to do it because you have to pay. Remember we talked about that same thing when uh in Exodus. Remember in talking Exodus? The 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 you know, Mount Sinai and 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 God gave and talked to them, right? Mm -hmm. And what they say? What everybody else just came say, <laughs> we better bring it up for everybody <laughs> real quick. I got it. Exodus, I'm going over here. Everybody can see my screen. <laughs> 20 is what I'm talking about. And we're going down to uh, the last verse, 19, I think. He said, verse 18. What did what, what it say? What did it say? 18 to 21. It says, And all the people saw the thundering and the lightning and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they removed and stood afar off. Mm -hmm. And they said unto Moses, Speak thou with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. It almost sounded like, let you just surely die. Why did that mindset... It almost sound like Adam and Eve hiding it, in the... It, <laughs> that, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, hey, look, I, hey, look. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> hey, <in> the garden. <laughs> hey, look! It, it reminds me about people going to. When, at least talk about us, us of, some of us, some of us in the ethnic group of called African Americans. When when we see people running, oh, know, we run. We, we ain't gonna run. ask why. <laughs> <laughs> and you see what it said? Don't it's, even need to see what. It is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, look. Hey, you got to have your Bible with you. I'm going to come off screen so people can see us a little bit more. <laughs> hey, look. When they said they ran afar off or they moved themselves afar off, I can imagine. Yeah, they people broke. that wasn't, wasn't paying attention, they just saw everybody move and just went on with them. Because <laughs> he said, hey, bro, that, that ain't playing afar off. <laughs> That be wherever they were, <laughs> they move afar. Well, see, I don't think that was. I think you concur. I don't think that meant just a few feet back. <laughs> they, they may have took off running. <laughs> they said, Moses, have to go to not hear or see what you see and see like <laughs> Come on now. And, and, and so Adam and Eve, they hid themselves. Yeah, they and they basically they basically why you know, I guess it didn't answer. The script didn't answer. He said he was gonna die, did he? I think he what, what do you think he ran for? Why did he hit himself? I guess it's the question. Why did he hit himself? He didn't say why did he just said, Well, I was afraid. What would you I guess the question used to say, what was he afraid of? Yeah. He was afraid to die, didn't he? Cause 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 that was the that was the interesting, that's the outcome. If you eat of this fruit, if you eat of this tree, the fruits of this tree, you shall surely die. Yeah. So they did eat of that tree because they didn't run from him before. Yeah. 
They weren't ashamed they were naked before, but once they had that tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and they heard the voice in the presence of God, they ran from him. They ran from him, not before, but they ran from then because the prophecy, the commandment, the outcome was there, right? You shall surely die. And they were afraid of that and they hid themselves. That's the, that's the scripture we were just reading there. Uh, what was that verse? Uh, that's, that's when he answered it, right? He said, I heard that voice in verse 10. He said, I heard that voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked. Now, I don't, I don't know. That is not the right answer he gave either, wasn't it? And I hear myself. That is, that, he he gave the wrong answer, brother Adams. He gave the wrong answer the first day. He said, "Where are they?" I hear myself. I was afraid because I was naked. No, you were because you, you had it from that tree. Because you remember, see the next verse. God said it. God said he said first of all, God told him, "Look, ooh, man, that's what we were talking about." We got hung up on for a second. I hear. Who told you that you were naked? Who to, who told you that? Because I knew I didn't tell you was naked. And I knew you knew you was naked in verse 20, in uh, what, uh, Genesis chapter 2. People just got to, hey, brother, I just case people don't know, right? Let's go ahead and show it to them. It says right here, people, just, this is all about reading the word for ourselves. This is verse 25. Can you see 25? Yeah. Okay, 25 said, and they were both, they, isn't that, that's what the scripture said, right? They, they were, were both, both naked. naked. And the, the man, man and his wife. And his wife. And we're not ashamed. We're not ashamed. Got it? So, so they knew back in Genesis 2 that they were naked. So obviously Did when they, they said... they were naked? Huh? Did they know they were naked? It just What's said it? they were naked. Well, let's see. And not ashamed. It didn't say that they knew they were naked. It just says that they were both naked. The man okay. and the wife. Okay. And we're not ashamed. God, why that 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 kind of implies, right? That you were, you know. I mean, to me, I'm just saying that kind of implies that you. Well, you, like if you if 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 you bent over to pick something <laughs> up and you split your pants and didn't know it, mm -hmm. you wouldn't know that you had to split in your pants. Now, and with that, once you found out, then you'd probably <laughs> be ashamed of it and try and cover it up. Okay, you know, let us let, go this way then, I, that, cause that that ain't go, that dog ain't hurt too well. <laughs> but I'm saying I'm saying this, they saw each other. Yeah. All right, and he knew that she didn't have no clothes on. <laughs> then, right? Yeah, it did. And it didn't matter. Then. It didn't matter. They they saw they saw what they saw. So something else they saw apparently in three. Because God even asked them that. Who told you naked? And I think that I think what I'm saying is I think that moved into a spiritual component. Yeah. Is what happened. You know. Uh, if, huh? if, uh, if you're if you're aware of something mm -hmm. that you've already witnessed, yes, sir. You just have a different outlook on it. Yeah, you're looking at it from a different view. From a different yeah. view. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying this sometimes we're talking about the God is world is blinded. Yeah. People, right? They, we don't really mean he blinded them from darkness. It blinded them from a different view of things. And I think and and then and we talk about the police officers in the case of Tari, they wanted to redirect their our view of what we saw with our own eyes. Yeah. Wow. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.